Good morning, everyone. Uh, I tried to post my dancing video this morning, but I I decided to shelve it. Um, so yesterday, after I posted, I um, went about my day, and then later when I came back online, I saw um, a lot of tags of princess had done a video and was asking for me to join i wasn't online then and <clears throat> i felt the need to address this this is directly to dr femi olale of optimal cancer care foundation uh to the lagos state uh, domestic and sexual violence response team um to all the ngos who are out there I feel that in a society where we cannot protect our children from sexual predators, it is a society doomed to fail. Uh, our children are the future. They need to be supported, uh, made to realize their potential, groomed for good, not groomed to be sex toys for adults who should know better. I've known Dr. Femi for a number of years, a long time. We met an, at an event in Unilag uh, many, many years ago, and he had approached me to help in his advocacy for breast cancer screening for women and the rest. And if you know anything about me, good morning, you know anything about me, you know that women's health, women's wellness, um, children, child rape, abuse is a passion of mine. It's something I'm deeply Involving and so for years I've supported optimal cancer care. I've even put money towards helping women get screening. I've done fundraising. He can bear me witness. Dr. Femi Lale has never paid me a naira, never asked, and um, that's okay. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's advocacy. Uh, on the 9th of July, 9th or 10th of July was another advocacy drive of his. Uh, he was now partnering, partnering with the Reddington Hospital in uh, VI. Uh, of course, to raise awareness, get women to come screen. I have been screened myself, and um, he hasn't charged me. I guess that's the perks of having to do advocacy for him. So let me just put that out there. Uh, so I went, as usual, in the pouring rain. You see, for me, when I give my word, it's something that I don't play with. I have integrity. And I beat my chest about it. A lot of NGOs that I work with, they're out there, Project Alert, over 15 years, supporting their work, and Warif, Mirabel Center, so many of them that I support in one way or the other. So I went, and um, there are a few women there, maybe because of the rain, they couldn't really come. Um, so in conversation, I just said, oh, how's your wife? And he was like, mm. So I said, what's wrong? And then he now said, we'll talk later when the room was clear. So he cleared the room and, and said, the nurses there should give us room. And so I asked, well, how's your wife? And he said, oh, the surprise that they're no more together. She had kicked him out of the house. I'm like, that's serious. You know, and then he went, now went on to say, I would admit to you, Kate, uh, she set me up. I fell. I don't understand. I didn't understand what that meant. Uh, he fell, okay? So, I said, what happened? He said, oh, she brought a young girl into the house and he did stuff with her. I'm like, ah, Dr. Femi, now, wow, why would you, you know? Uh, of course, the first thing is blame his wife that she knew his weakness and she did that and whatever. Just kicked him out. She even arrested him. I'm like, wow. This was before he told me he had had the thing with the girl. When, she, when he said he had been arrested, I'm like, how would the wife arrest you? So it was eight later when I now heard from him that he was, because he had sexual relations with, so he didn't even tell me he was the wife's niece. He didn't tell me she was underage either. But she said, tell me other things, and I'm like, okay, just take it easy. So you guys try and resolve it. Make sure you try and see your children. I'm sure everything will be fine. And I'm like, ah. Maybe she has moved on. Just leave her. Because my mom gets in the middle of relationship. Then the wife, Remy, reaches out to me and... Oh, four hours on the phone we spent. She was telling me all sorts of... She sent me videos. Dr. Femi Olaleye had been 
molesting, disverging this 15-year-old girl. He had been doing that for a year and nine months. I was shocked. I'm not going to put a picture of the girl or the video. If you see her, she's just like a tomboy. I, I, I wondered in my mind, what could drive a man like that who has a beautiful wife? And by the way, he's not bad looking as well. You are both together, you and your wife, in the same house, and you are... I, I was so upset. I told him, under no uncertain terms, in no uncertain terms, that I will not be a part of this. You know my stance against this kind of evil, and I will not keep quiet. To sort your shit out. I sent him this message. He wanted to meet, and we couldn't find time, so I said... I needed to speak with you regarding the situation you're in. When Remy, his wife, called me to tell me all that transpired, I felt I needed to clarify my stand. I'm a huge and strong advocate against child abuse and sexual abuse. Everyone knows that. Many NGOs I've worked with can attest to that. It's not looking good for you at all. I'm linked to you because of the advocacy that I do for women. My integrity is very, very important to me. I have received a few DMs, which I did. I've not responded as I do not know the people. But I will protect my name regardless. She has said, she being the wife, said you remain re unrepentant, which is what he's still doing as of yesterday. And you continue to gaslight her. To tell you the truth, that is not advisable. It's a terrible, terrible thing that you did. You admitted as much to me. I really don't know what else to say on this matter, except that I have to protect my reputation at all costs. I have briefed my manager, should any of you get out to the media, and I will counter any backlash against my person. I wanted to speak face to face because I'm not happy at all, and I had no idea that I was this serious and that a minor was involved. And he responds, <laughs> I totally understand. Thanks for your support. Thanks for the clarification as well. I appreciate your time and support of my work, but please... I cannot recollect admitting doing anything wrong with a minor to you. I remain steadfast in proclaiming my innocence with regards to all her allegations. Thanks. I said, oh, really? You do not remember? Really, Dr. Femi? So I'm now a liar. You call me a liar. No worries. My best wishes. And he responds with, he, 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 no. And he sent other messages, but I was done. Dr. Femi. I want to tell you that I'm a straightforward person and that you said what you said to me. The earlier you come to terms with what you have done, submit yourself to the authority so that they can do the needful with you. You molested a 15-year-old girl. You disverged her. You threatened her and told her that if she told anyone she would die. You are a doctor. You are meant to care. You took a Hippocratic oath. Dr. Femi, you called me a liar. Thank you very much. I'm not a liar. You said what you said to me. You know what you did. It is left for the authorities to do the needful. I am here. Should any clarification be needed. I've worked with you all these years. Never lied to you. But saying back your words to you, I'm not a liar. And I put it to you that I'm not lying. You know what you did. And it is a terrible thing. And you should be ashamed of yourself. I thought I could give you a benefit of doubt and just think that, oh, it was somebody who had her wits about her and could make a, an informed decision. But this girl is a young girl. A minor. Okay? A minor. And it is despicable. And in a society like ours, if you try and cover it up, like the police tried to do with the Baba Jesha case and the princess had to do video calling all of them out. You people have children as well. Trust me. The same you do to other people's children is what will be meted out to your own kids. Let's stop this nonsense and this evil. Okay? There you have it. Thank you.